The man charged with killing a Prince George's County teacher was ordered to be held without bond. Harold Landon III is accused of killing Miriam Tori Sela back in July and then dumping her remains. Today, his attorney questioned the strength of the prosecution's case, and prosecutors argue they have the right man. News 4's Darcy Spencer was in the courtroom and has our report. Harold Landon III held without bond on murder charges. He's accused of killing Greenbelt teacher Miriam Torre Sela, dismembering her body and dumping her remains here at this retention pond in the Clinton area of Prince George's County. His defense attorney argued that the case against him was entirely circumstantial with no direct evidence linking him to the crime. Prosecutors disagreed. We are very confident that we have the right person and we are very confident that we have a strong case against uh, Mr. Landon. Prosecutors say Landon was at Shrum Hills Park in Greenbelt the same time as Sela on the day she disappeared after taking a walk there. And his truck matched the truck that was seen at the pond where her remains were recovered days later. His attorney says being at the park didn't mean he was involved in Sela's death and that no one positively identified Landon as being at the pond. But prosecutors say even he agreed that photos taken at the pond show him at the scene when her remains were dumped. The state's attorney says as this crime showed sophistication and thought. The cover-up and the attempt uh, to really ensure that no one could identify the body, um, from my perspective, was deliberate. The judge also ordered Landon held on a separate domestic violence case. He's accused of beating the mother of his child and taking her phone and cash. Prosecutors say Landon was also convicted of assaulting a separate woman in 2019. Mr. Landon has a history of abusing women. We still don't know exactly where or how the victim was killed and prosecutors still don't have a motive, but they do say they have a strong case and it's only going to get stronger as they continue to process evidence. Landon is due back in court next month. In Upper Marlboro, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Prosecutors believe Landon acted alone.